Hello. We are at 803 Austin Street. Figured since I was coming over to look, I would do the uh, virtual tour as well. Good looking house. I think probably the only thing I really see is some updates in the bathrooms, uh, but other than that, really first rate. Nice stone porch, kind of wraps around. You've got the uh, covered parking spot here. Nice little living room, the original wood floors. Like the little arch. That door goes into one of the bedrooms. Dining room, kitchen. bedroom just right off of the front door. I'm not sure about this guy's name, but he seems a little fat, too fat to bother getting up for us. Second bedroom. This one has access off of the uh, carport area. Not real big closets, but typical for a house this age. And this is what they're using for the master suite. Again, you got the wood floors in here. Pretty much throughout the whole uh, original part of the house is the wood. Master bath, tile floor, and eh, so so. Countertop here is the cultured marble, and it's starting to crack, which is pretty typical. I think that could probably get replaced. And then the cultured marble in the shower. But I think if you tile this, it would chill a whole lot better. But perfectly functional the way it is as well. Like if you're just wanting to rent it out for now, I probably wouldn't even mess with it. The second bath is just here at the end of the hallway for these other two rooms to use. Tile floor, tile countertop, and tub shower combo. Everything's very neat and clean, well maintained. Kitchen. Here they put down court flooring, surfacing it on the uh, cooktop with the uh, vent hood that comes up out of the cabinet, double ovens. Then part of what they're counting in the square footage is this little wine cellar. Actually, a pretty good room down here. Works great for the wine cellar. A little tricky on getting down the stairs just because it's uh, pretty low. So you have to watch your head. I also talked to the girl at uh, Guest House Schmidt. I'll include her contact information um, and she's going to go ahead and kind of start working up what you might be able to lease it for, uh, how many days a month you might expect to get. So they come out in the backyard and really cool. You got the garage.
but the pool area in this big backyard is very nice. And location on this one's hard to beat. Good storage area. Car garage is not super useful. I mean, it is. You just have to come down this alley, this uh, driveway into it, and you're really not going to turn around. So the part that would be tricky is coming, having to back out all the way. Perfectly doable, just not terribly convenient. But I do like this little courtyard area with the porta cache kind of wrapping around on that front porch. That's where that second bedroom door comes out. It's so really a great pool area. Hot tub. And I think both of these items would really help your rent quite a bit. Big pecan trees. There's some guy peeking in the shed back there. This is utility room off of the back of the shed. As a B&B, this would be good, you know, to have your linens and everything stored in here. As a house, it's a little impractical, but not horrible. In the outdoor kitchen area. Uh oh, I've got a suck in my gut. <laughs> I'm sure you all know this pretty lady. And then this is Wes. He's the listing agent who came and unlocked for us. Greetings. And I'm not sure who that old guy is there. He just wandered up on the property. <laughs> that cool fireplace. Built in. So just really, really cool backyard. So anyway, I'll send this to you, and then if you got some questions, you can give me a call. Bye.